Go ahead, no, Go I, ahead, man. Fire away. I got several things. But, you know, you know, Rick, um, we just saw this this 10-part documentary series about Michael Jordan, The Last Dance. And it was talking yeah. about how Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player of all time. That's the phrase that's used to describe Ric Flair to everybody. When, it, when Booker was coming up, his generation, my generation, everyone said, Ric Flair is the greatest of all time. So I've, I've always wanted, wanted to ask no, no, you. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not, let, let, let me add to that real quick. Yeah. Uh, I was at a uh, I was at a show. It was at uh, Sam Houston Coliseum. It was way back in the day. I swear to God. And uh, Ric Flair uh, was uh, was was on the show. And uh, Tiger Conway um, and, uh, <laughs> told, told, me, told me and my brother. He said, "That's the real boy there." <laughs> <laughs> we, hey, we we started together in Charlotte, nineteen seventy four. Me and the Tiger, man, you gave me a call for a year. <laughs> Maybe to cut you off, Brad, but I had to oh, tell no, this no, story. That's, good. That, that's a good story. I bet, every time I came back to Houston, he'd come down. Yeah, what a great yeah. kid. What a great kid. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I wanted to ask you, though, how does it feel to hear that described about yourself in an industry where thousands and thousands of guys have gone out there and put their blood, sweat, and tears out in that squared circle? You're regarded as the greatest of all time. And my follow-up to that is who do you think? is the greatest of all time? Well, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm honored and thrilled. And, you know, it's just, I think what happened, and this is, um, this is what the world that we live in now is that I, I was on TV literally up until last week. I've been on TV for 48 years. And then along comes YouTube. Then along comes the internet then comes the network and like the network is taking a guy like me it's even taking booker right or and any number of guys that are lucky enough to still be alive and people are getting to see stuff they never saw and, they, and they're going wow i mean and youtube i mean i'm not kidding in my whole life until i got sick in 2017 when I came home from the hospital and really, you know, I had, I was still on an IV and I had the stoma and I sat in the chair. I never, I, I can honestly tell you, I don't think I ever watched anything but sports center for 25 years or maybe 30 because I didn't watch TV. I was always doing something. And I have that book. You, 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 if you think about it, book will say, yeah, I flipped it on it. Two o'clock in the morning when I got in from wherever, driving or working or drinking or whatever, we're on the road. Out. Well, I mean, did you ever watch Netflix? We're on the road. Yeah. Well, I'm working. No, hell no. We didn't know. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, my stepdaughter goes, "You want to watch Netflix?" I said, "What is that?" This is three years ago. I was drinking. August of or when I came home, October of 2017, and now I've become a junkie to that stuff. And you start watching YouTube and. You can see all the matches in the old days. You can see the guys, which is unfortunate. Everybody knocks everybody. we got to be the only business in the world, which is a different subject, where everybody just knocks everybody. Yeah, it's terrible. Awesome. You know what I mean? But that, we can talk about that later in the show. But um, it's just a whole new world. And for me, getting back to how I feel about that, I'm thrilled. But I think sometimes I just have... Uh, I've old beat them on me. <laughs> they, they're forced to watch you whether they want to or not. And then when Offset came along with Ric Flair Drift, hell, they really hated me. <laughs> <laughs> that, re that really made Bret Hart mad. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, the king of hip-hop. Forget about wrestling. <laughs> I got Snoop Dogg saying I'm the, you know, the crown prince, right? I mean, oh, my God. 